The Allen Revival Hour presents Miracles Today with God's man of faith and power, Evangelist A. A. Allen. Now by special film transcription, we take you onto the world's greatest gospel tent. Join us in this service. Receive the blessings of God's power manifest under the anointed ministry of A. A. Allen. You are now under the great miracle tent where thousands of people congregate night after night coming from all parts of America to worship God in spirit and in truth and to see the power of God demonstrated before their very eyes. We invite you now to take a front row seat and enjoy this great service with us. I'd like for everybody in this great tent cathedral tonight to stand with me and we're going to sing two old-fashioned choruses that everybody knows Jesus breaks every fetter and he sets me free. Then when we finish this one, we're going to sing, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Everybody sing it with me, please. may be seated everybody aren't you enjoying this great service tonight amen. if you're enjoying it everybody say amen. amen hallelujah and now ladies and gentlemen it's my very happy pleasure and privilege to present to you the man that God has anointed mightily with a supernatural miracle ministry God's man of faith and power Reverend A. A. Allen praise God Amen. How many believe Jesus is under this tent tonight? Amen. Do you believe Jesus is here? Amen. Do you believe he was here this afternoon? Amen. Do you believe he's here to move and to work? Amen. Do you believe he's here to heal the sick? Amen. Do you believe he's here that his power might liberate and loose men from demon spirits and from demon power? Amen. Now watch out. Don't tell me that demons are not real today. Someone the other day was saying, Alan, I just saw that new movie titled The Three Faces of Eve. I said, I didn't see the movie, but I read the story in Reader's Digest, written by two of the greatest psychiatrists in the nation, of a woman with three separate distinct personalities. For the first time in medical history, psychiatrists and medical doctors at last 
are being awakened to the fact that there is a direct connection in most cases of nervous disorders, physical torment through the nerves, mental sickness and mental disease, there is a direct connection with the spirit. They don't know what kind of a spirit it is, but they say they believe there is a direct connection with demons or something out of the pit. Well, I'm glad, thank God, that medical science, psychiatrists at last, have been awakened to the fact that God's word is true. Amen. How many are glad that God is moving today on professional men? Amen. Men that for years have been perplexed. But at last, and this is a report worldwide, if there's ever a time, the ministry and the church needs to awaken to the fact that she is needed, needed to bring deliverance and needed to bring help to people who have had complete nervous collapse, nervous disorders, and mental sickness, it's now. Now listen to me. There has never been a time, never has there been a time when there's been so much sickness, disease, and infirmity in the world. But psychiatrists and medical doctors have declared there have never been a time and neither have they ever been so perplexed over the com number of people and the, the increased number of people that are having complete nervous collapse, nervous disorders, and are mentally sick. In fact, today, America's number one sickness and disease is not cancer. It is not heart disease. It is mental sickness. More than 50% of all the people that are hospitalized or in bed tonight are not physically sick. They are mentally sick. Now, I don't believe that everyone that's mentally sick or demon-possessed, but did it ever dawn on you that the majority of people that came to the Lord Jesus Christ with nervous disorders that were being tormented, uh, Jesus, nine out of every ten of them, he cast out a spirit. Amen. He cast out a spirit he called a demon. And after the spirit came out, the people were tormented no longer. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Let me read you a verse of scripture from Luke 13, 16. Behold, there was a woman which had a spirit. Now listen. She had a spirit. She had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. And then in detail, in the 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th verses right on down through, goes into detail to describe that woman's spirit, uh, her, rather her physical condition. But the fact that I want to bring to you and the truth I want to leave with you in your home today is that this woman had a spirit, a spirit of infirmity, a spirit that was causing her sickness. It caused her disease. It caused her physical sickness. Amen. Then this one verse should be enough. But for all of us that have read the Bible, I wish I had time on this short 30-minute telecast to quote them all. But so many times they came to Jesus and Jesus said, Come out of him, thou deaf spirit. Amen. And when the deaf spirit came out, the ears were open. Amen. He said, Come out of her, thou deaf and dumb spirit. And what? The deaf both heard and speak. Amen. In another case in the book of Matthew, a man came to the Lord who was blind. But that man that was blind, he didn't say, Oh, God, heal this man. He said, Come out to the man. What is it? The blind saw. Amen. And in many, many, many cases through the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in many did, uh, certain ty specific types of sicknesses and diseases, all the Lord did was lay his hand upon them and command the Spirit to come out. Amen. Now listen to me. From Luke 6, 18, they that were vexed with unclean spirits were healed. And listen to this. Behold, a woman of Cana came out. She cried unto Jesus, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, for my daughter, she is grievously vexed with the devil. And tonight on this telecast, I especially am going to pray for those that are vexed as the Seraphonician woman's daughter. Now, I know that not many people want to be told that they are being vexed by a tormenting demon. Very few people today want to confess there's something on the inside of me, but it's amazing how many people declare there's something in me that shouldn't be there. So many people say, Brother Allen, I'm hearing voices. Many people say, one little lady said, I'm going insane, I'm going wild. She said, unless God helps me, I'm going to lose my mind. Said, everywhere I go, there's huge serpents crawling. 
While she's talking, she screamed and leaped and said, my God, there goes one. I didn't see a thing, but she was being tormented. Amen. You say she was a mental case. Well, you can take her to a psychiatrist, but I'm going to tell you this. He, today, the psychiatrist is sending most of the cases to the preachers. Amen. 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 At last, the psychiatrist has awakened to the fact that the devil has something to do with the physical torment of the thousands of people that line up in their office day after day for a private interview or for a consultation or for a diagnosis of their mental trouble. Thousands of people are living in the constant dread fear of losing their mind or having a complete collapse. There are hundreds of people under this tent on the very verge of a nervous collapse, and they say, I'm a nervous wreck. Unless God helps me, I'm going to go insane. I'm going to go all to pieces. Amen. But I'm on the verge of something horrible. Can you help me? I said, yes, I can help you. The same thing that was wrong with the Sarah Phoenician woman's daughter is wrong with you. What is this? Here come a woman crying to the Lord. She said, oh, Jesus, thou son of David, if you can help me do something. What is it? He said, my daughter, she's home. I couldn't bring her. I couldn't bring her. She's insane. She's being tormented. She's vexed with a devil. Didn't say she's highly nervous. Didn't say she's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. She said she is grievously vexed with a devil. Amen. Jesus commended her for her faith. Yes. And she didn't even have to bring the daughter to Jesus. You know what happened? Jesus said to her, go, the devil is gone out of your daughter. Jesus didn't say, when you get home, you're going to find her nerves have quieted. He said, go, lady, and when you get home, you're going to find that the devil has gone out of your daughter. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I quote to you from Mark 7. He said to her, the devil has gone out of thy daughter. And when she had come to her house, she found the devil gone out. So what happened? Here is the result. She found the devil had gone out of her daughter, and from that day right on down, she was never tormented. She never had a nervous, shall you call it a spell? Never had another seizure. She didn't have a nervous collapse. They didn't have to assign her to a psychopathic ward, nor to a mental institution. She never had to have one shock treatment. Here's what I've declared, and I said to a man here yesterday who got a yellow prayer card. He said, they are going to assign me to a mental institution unless I uh, somehow recover, unless I get better. And he said, Brother Allen, they've said they want to give me shock treatments. And he said, I don't want any shock treatments. I said, I think you need one. Amen. And I said, you get in this prayer line tonight, and I'm going to see that you get a shock treatment. <laughs> but he said, you know, I've seen so many people and heard so many people that have gone to these psychopathic wards for treatments, and they have had many shock treatments and don't get any better. I said, they got the wrong kind of a shock treatment. If you just get one Bible, biblical, scriptural shock treatment, Amen. the foul demon spirit that torments you through your nerves or mentally torments you, you're going to be loosed and liberated and set free. Amen. He said, what do you mean? Well, he's going to be on this ramp tonight, and God's going to give him a shock treatment. I'm not talking about a shock treatment from electricity and wet sponges and a wet towel where you have to be strapped on a table where it jerks you to pieces and drives you wild and insane. I'm talking about the shocking power of the Holy Ghost of Fire that God sent down in the second chapter of Acts. One good shock of the power of God. And God has said to his ministers, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. He has said, you shall cast out devils. Now, wherever one of these that are coming tonight, I'm not saying are demon-possessed. But the Bible tells us of Jesus, he healed all that were oppressed of the devil. People who are possessed of the devil have a devil on the inside or a demon spirit on the inside. But they that are oppressed find that the thing is hovering round and about them. But Jesus came and he healed all that were oppressed of the devil. 
Now I'm going to pray for you in just a moment. But before we do, let's bow our heads here as we open this prayer line for these that are oppressed, Amen. nervous disorders, and are being tormented by the devil. Bring them here, Sambach. Everybody bow your head. Father God, in the name of Jesus, bring it to pass tonight that everyone that watched this telecast somehow will see here on this platform that which is wrong with them or with a loved one. Give them faith for their healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Everybody raise your hands and let's tell the Lord what he's going to do for us tonight. Let's praise him for what he's going to do. Now, Father, as we lay our hands on the sick and the diseased, as we open this line to set at liberty these that are tormented, I am believing to stand by my side and for everyone on whom I lay my hands, they'll be completely delivered tonight in the name of Jesus. How many believe it tonight? Amen. Here is the little lady that has the trouble I've been talking to you about. She is tormented and has been tormented for seven years. Do you believe that the spirit has something to do with this? You believe that? But the devil's spirit. You believe it is? I'm going to pray and the thing is going to leave. All you have to do is look at her face. You can see there's something wrong here. There's no smile. There's a blank look. See what I mean? My God, this thing's got to go. It is a terrible torment in her head and in her ears. It's been there for seven years. And if she doesn't get delivered, she'll soon be in a psychopathic ward. But you're going to be delivered tonight. Everybody raise your right hand while I pray. Thou, thou tormenting devil, in the name of Jesus, Cursed be your foul force. In the name of Jesus. Loose her. Loose her. Come up. There it goes. There it goes. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. See the difference? See the difference? It's gone. Everybody put your hand up. <laughs> it's gone. You see? What happened? What happened? It's gone. You say, what is that? That's the Spirit of God. That's the power of God. Turn around. What happened? Jesus. Did he set you free? It, it's all gone? It's all gone. You feel good. Everybody raise your hands and praise the Lord. Put your hands up and say, thank you, Jesus. Here's another little lady. Look at her. She's a nervous wreck. She can't hardly walk. She's being so tormented. A nervous breakdown. All the left side, all this side, she says, is being tormented. There's something in here that's tearing her up and tearing her apart. Is that right? Yes. You believe God will set you free? I know he can. Do you believe the devil has something to do with this? It isn't God. You don't believe it's God? I don't no, either. No. You say there's something just working on the inside there's all of them. There's a gentleman that prayed for me back in the audience, and that shoulder was relieved. And, uh, uh, but there has been pain up and down my arms, all up and down my arms. You, did, you, did you have the nervous collapse, or you're just about to? Oh, I, uh, yes, I had a, I had a, I, I'm, I'm weak in body. It's, uh -huh. The nerves are exhausted. Uh -huh. You are being tormented. Praise you, Lord. You see the look on her face? Yes. There's not the victory. There's no smile there. There's torment. Yes, yes, yes. Nonchalant. Melancholy. There's a torment. How many believe that it's an infirm spirit? Do you believe God's given his ministers power over it? Amen. It's going to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand right there. There's where it starts. Thou tormenting spirit. 
in the name of Jesus. Loose this woman. Come out, I charge thee. Go in Jesus' name. There it goes. It's gone. It's gone. Amen. Is it gone? Yes. Is it gone? Yes. It's gone. Put your hands up and let's begin to praise Jesus. the Lord. Jesus, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Everybody doesn't act alike, but when we feel this, we're going to act. Is it gone? Precious Lord. Put Precious your hands up and Jesus. say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank Amen. You, Lord. And I command you in the name of Jesus to go home and sleep tonight. Mm -hmm without drugs and without oh, sedatives I and never without help. Drugs. Without any help, you guys are going to sleep life, praise the, Lord. the sweet sleep of peace. Yeah. No one but no one but Jesus has ever been my healer Is for it gone? Years. Is praise it gone? Turn around, smile at the people, Amen. run home and shout the victory. Yes, a nervous torment. She is vexed. My she, back end. And you can't sleep at night? No, I can't. I haven't slept for six or seven months, Brother Allen. You haven't slept for six or seven months? Only with sedatives. Only with sedatives yes. and drugs. My back is, the spine is uh, slit, and my leg is partly paralyzed. Mm -hmm. The leader uh, from the groins of my legs partly but paralyzed. Do you believe the devil has something to do with torment? Yes. You believe it's a spirit that's going to leave? Yes. Right now? Yes. Right Thank now? God. How many believe God's going to let her sleep? From the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, thou tormenting devil yes. torments this woman and allows her not to sleep and removes and takes from her her rest. Now let the, let the power of God go through her. In the name of Jesus. It's a stubborn thing. You can feel it. Uh-oh. I feel it going. In... You devil, you're going to let her go. In the... Breathe it, Lord. Breathe it, Jesus. Yeah, put your hand, right hand up, everybody, and pray with me. Jesus, breathe it, God. She... Breathe it. Breathe Amen. It. It's leaving. It's leaving. <laughs> it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I you. feel it leave. Thank you, Jesus. How many felt it go? Thank you, Jesus. Did you feel Thank it go? You, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, lady, you can't find it. <laughs> you can't find it. The doctor told me, Brother Allen, I couldn't stoop for uh, no telling when. Uh -huh. That for me not to stoop. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Didn't you feel it leave? I felt free. You felt I, free? I felt free. Go home and sleep tonight. She still can't believe it's done. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Still can't believe it's done. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I believe it's you believe done. You believe it's done? Go home and sleep the sweet peace of sleep. Here's a man in a horrible condition. How long have you been tormented like this? Well, for all my life, really. And two years is worse on me. I can't Do you believe you're demon-possessed? Yes, sir. You believe that? I believe it, sir. We've marked it on your card with a question. Reasonable. All your life? Yes, sir. How does it affect you? Well, I have nervous chills, and I just go to pieces, and I shake all over. And I've had chills most daily, uh -huh. sometimes every day for weeks, and then they slack up every other day. And it seems to start right there. Yes, sir. I know it. And it goes all you over. You don't have to ask him. I've prayed for too many people like this. And my legs hurt. Is he going to leave tonight? Amen. Just right gonna, now? Right now. Every bit of it's going to go? Every bit. I want to and it's going to stay gone? It's going to stay gone. Get ready. Thank you, Jesus. How many believe it? Yeah. I'm going to leave my hand right where it starts. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'll tell you where it starts. Right there is where the thing starts. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God come upon this man, Lord. Let the Spirit of the Lord come upon him. Thou foul tormenting devil in the name of Jesus Christ, I charge you loose this man on. Let him go in Jesus' name. That's just the power of God, folks. When I told you that God was going to give him a shock, that is the shock treatment. <laughs>
That is the shock treatment. Amen. This is the man. I told you this was the shock treatment. This is it. You say, what's doing that? The power of God. Amen. He won't have any more trouble. Everybody stand to your feet and let's praise the Lord. See how happy he is? See how happy he is? That's it. Preachers, that's it. <laughs> Amen. It's done, isn't it? Lord. What did you feel? Well, I feel free. You feel free? Lord. Something came out of you, didn't it? Yes, sir, it did. But something went through you, didn't Ooh. it? Electric shock. Electric shock. No, that was, the, that was the power of God shock. Raise your hands up and let's praise the Lord. Now listen, here's what I'm going to do. For everyone under this tent with nervous disorders, I'm going to have special prayer with you. For everyone in your home that are having nervous disorders, you have a child that's mentally retarded, someone who is nervous and he can't sleep at night, listen, raise your right hand to heaven while I pray and put the other hand right there. You say, why? Because right there is where it starts. And while I pray here, God's going to set you free there. Put one hand up put to heaven. Maybe you'd like to touch your TV set. It'll sort of get you in direct connection with this great campaign. What the power of God's doing here, he'll do that. Are you ready? If you have faith, God's going to set you free. Are you ready? Preachers, join hands across the aisles. Every one of you join me in prayer tonight. We're praying for the millions of you who watch this telecast. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Let the power of God go forth with my voice. Bring deliverance. Bring healing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God. Loose many women from the spirit of infirmity. Loose them from tormenting, vexing devils. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. raise both hands and let's say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Find a seat.